All right, yeah, Andrew man. Andrew Doviak says, question is to combat the Anderson crowd. How can you prove the Jewish people in Israel today are the continuance of the Old Testament Jewish nation, not the synagogue of Satan, as he teaches? Andrew Doviak's a friend of the broadcast, so we know this is asked in a good spirit. Brother Grady, how do you respond to that? Well, anyone that knows anything about the history of Palestine knows that there has always been a Jewish remnant in that land. Now, the Romans didn't chase everybody out. They didn't, they didn't yank them all out during the Assyrian uh, uh, dispersion. I mean, they left some in the land, and the Romans did the same thing. So there was, there's was there been a continuous Arab-Jewish presence, to, you know, Arabs and Jews together there uh, th through the centuries, but especially the Jews. The majority of them were up in the uh, Sea of Galilee region and in Jerusalem proper. But there's no question that there's been Jews there through the centuries, unbroken line. That's, I don't know if anybody disputes that, any secular historian. All right, and, and, and the only people that really reject that are the replacement theologians. Is that correct? I mean, can, there's no other major that I, that I know of, ex them and the Palestinians and maybe the Catholics, you know. Yeah. So and it's amazing, you know, uh, how, you know, God's word clearly says that the Jews, I mean, how many verses are there that talk about the Jews being regathered, putting, being put back in the land? And so in order for, for the Jews to not to exist anymore, the Bible would have to be lying. That's correct. So there you go. There was a, there was a Jewish uh, legal scholar, Ernst Frankenstein, and he wrote a book on, I have it cited in my book, I've, 750 books in the bibliography and he, he came from a legal perspective that the Jews never renounced their land they were thrust out forcibly by an invading army and that that empire has ceased to exist and those Jews have a legal right to their land mm. and that's been a matter of record for years I mean it's it's just something that uh, you don't want to confuse people with facts but uh, you can <laughs> all of these things are uh, you know all of these things are documentable they, they legally have a right to their homeland wow Amen. 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 Let me just make sure your Bible is not messing our wire up there. No, you're good. You're fine. All right. Let's move along here. King James Bible says the Stevies will use Ecclesiastes 321, LOL, to prove Old Testament saints went to the third heaven. What is your take on this mess? So, Brother Grady, maybe let me give you get you up to speed here. The Stevies deny that Old Testament saints went to paradise. They don't believe in any paradise. They believe they just went straight to heaven. Um what is your take? Let's let's read Ecclesiastes chapter three. I got it right here. Do you, all right, read on, brother Randy. All right, the Bible says, "Who knoweth the spirit of man that goeth upward, and the spirit of the beast that goeth downward to the earth?" I know. I know how to answer that. Go, you go ahead. Yeah, you though. go ahead. You, uh, you got anything on it? No, I just uh, don't take anything they say serious. Why bother? <laughs> <laughs> In their face. Okay, so let me give you this: the man is a tripart being. First Thessalonians five twenty three. We're a body, soul, and spirit, okay? Now, the Bible says the body goes into the ground. Now, obviously, the body decays. We're waiting on the redemption of the body. The soul is what lives on forever, either in heaven or hell. That has a form, the soulish body of the man in hell, Luke 16. Lazarus, you know, all that story. Then the spirit, though, the spirit is what gives the body life. James chapter number 2 says that the body without the spirit is dead. That's verse 28. And Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 7 says that the spirit, when a man dies, the spirit returns to God that gave it. That's the soul, or excuse me, that's lost or saved. The spirit of the Lord is the life-giving source that makes our heart tick. The electric impulse is in the brain. So if a lost man dies, his body goes in the ground, his soul goes to hell, and his spirit returns back to God, which gave it. Ecclesiastes 3.21 nowhere proves that Old Testament saints went to heaven. And my goodness, what a what a what a what a, uh, 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 dis, dishonest uh, way of using the scriptures there to prove to prove some kind of heresy. Anyway, anybody got anything to add to that? I kind of agree with that. 